Hey guys, did you know we hit 10 million messages on Slack? Welcome back to Hashtag Journey where we are on the adventure to become a pro video storyteller. In this video, I want to talk to you guys about how we were able to hit 10 million messages on Slack, how Slack became our virtual workspace and our virtual office, and of course, how remote work changed the way we use Slack. So without further ado, let's get into it. In 2019, we were still working in the office and we had 2,526,000 messages sent. In 2020, when we started working remotely, we had 3,635,000 messages sent on our Slack. Wait, what? 3 million? That's a million more messages in 2020. Oh yes, but wait, listen to this. I'm listening. And also in 2020, we had 800,000 more DMs sent than in 2019. By these numbers, we can really see how much we rely on Slack when working remotely. I actually conducted a survey within live chat asking many, many questions about how remote work changed the way we use Slack. So before I get off into all the cool features that Slack has to offer us um, to work more efficiently while working remotely, I first want to share with you guys the responses I got from the survey. So 60% of live chatters who did my survey actually confirmed that yes, remote work has changed the way we use Slack. Now, when they were asked how, these were their responses. More updates on Slack more ping messages to ensure coworkers will join the online meetings, check someone's working hours on Slack, more smaller interactions. Slack is being used for both interpersonal and professional topics. It became our main slash only source of information. There's so much more to read and track now. Now, when they were asked how many times a day do they check various channels, I got some interesting responses. Very interesting, might I add. Well. One of them was one to 500. Yeah. The other response that I actually got is very interesting and I actually applied this to my own daily work now. So basically muting channels that aren't directly related to your work till 1 p.m. And then after that, you know, check them when you've got the most important tasks done, when you've got, you know, some load of work done. And I actually found that quite efficient. I tested it out on myself and I found this really interesting because I did really get in the zone with my own work. However, normally when I checked all the channels in the morning, I was a bit distracted by everything going on. Therefore, I think you guys should try this out and apply this to your daily work. 75% of live chatters who did the survey actually said that adding an emoji to your message is essential to display emotion. I have to say I do very much agree with this. Let me give you an example. Let's say you're texting one of your colleagues, you say, hey, can you send me that file? Now, without adding an emoji, they don't know exactly in which tone you're saying it. You could be like, hey, can you send me that file? Or you could be like, hey, can you send me that file, please? So if you literally add a smiling face emoji at the end, it will literally change everything. Now, the reason I conducted this survey is, well, first of all, to see what our live chatters really think and if they really do believe that remote work changed the way we use Slack, and also to see what we could improve in our big company, which we consider a huge family. Slack provides us with many different features that really help us work better remotely. And I wanna share with you guys some of the top features that we use at live chat. So number one, emoji reaction to a message. This is something really cool and super convenient at the same time. So recently I sent out a survey on our chat Slack channel, hashtag general, right? And instead of everybody saying done, 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 and you know, all those comments in the thread piling up and I have to reply to each one of them, they simply reacted with a green tick emoji showing me that they did do the survey and of course i really really do appreciate that a very important feature on slack is sharing your availability setting a status when we are working remotely now you know many people have kids many people have animals that need to go on walks or you simply need to feed yourself and that is totally understandable however you should definitely set a status for that so your colleagues know when they can find you so your boss knows like okay she's actually working eight hours a day however during this time she's out so i 
don't expect to find her near the computer or near the phone. Another great feature on Slack that I actually discovered recently is using message reminders. So you know, back in the office, let's say your teammate who's sitting next to you asked you like, hey, can you take a look at this text to see if it's correct or something like that? And you'd be like, sorry, I'm kind of in the zone right now. Can you come and ask me after an hour? And he'll be like, sure. And then they'll just come back after an hour and remind you like, hey, can you take a look at my text right now, please? And we don't really have that right now when we're working remotely. I mean, nobody's gonna come and tap you on the shoulder and be like, hey, can you send me that file? I mean, unless your cat or dog learns how to speak, but I doubt that. Um, anyways, continuing. So there's no one coming to tap you on the shoulder anymore. However, there will be people messaging you on Slack uh, asking you know for some help or asking for some advice and you do want to help them You do want to give them that advice except you're currently in the zone However, you have seen that message You can literally just set a slack message reminder for that and then slack will notify you after an hour like hey You're forgetting about this you you should do this So the next thing I actually want to talk to you guys about is our slack channels so 91.7% of the live chatters who did my survey actually said that it is very important, especially while working remotely, to have more personal channels. In order to keep the bond going with your teammates, it's definitely important to share some fun images, share some memes, and to share some stories about your personal life or what's going on, or even to talk about hobbies. And at Live Chat, we have channels for that. Let's say you wanna ask, what is the best dog leash to buy for my dog? Uh, is anybody going to Warsaw soon? Could you help me deliver something? We will have a channel for that. So let me start off by sharing some interesting channels with you guys and later on we'll get to the work channels. So the first channel I want to mention to you guys is hashtag odjedzisz, which basically translated into English means will you drive away? Now this channel was mostly used for live chat HQ's a parking lot, you know, Basically to politely ask somebody in the channel, hey, license plate number, could you please move your car? I can't get out of the parking lot. However, nowadays we aren't really using live chat HQ parking lot, but this channel is still a hot thing. We are still texting in this channel. You know, if you want to sell your secondhand car, or if you want to go and ask for a great mechanic, or if your battery is dead and you simply need some help, People will reach out. You can literally post it in the channel and people will give you advice or help you. The next two channels I want to mention to you guys is a very, very popular thing throughout live chat. We have our cat channel with 35 people and our dog channel with 100 people. So back in the office days, you are more than welcome to bring your dog into the office. Um, cats can't really walk on leashes, I think. And you know, they don't really like new places. Being a cat owner myself, I know that. Therefore, you get the memo. So nowadays, you can't really play with someone's fluffy pets in the office anymore. However, you do receive a huge amount of adorable pictures each and every single day in these channels. Live chatters really, really do support adoption shelters and make a lot of donations, you know, old toys, old blankets, for animal shelters and I'm so happy to see that this is still going on even though we are working remotely. Like there's an organizer and they basically collect these things and later on send it to the shelter. We also have channels like hashtag hiking, hashtag food for different various hobbies and the list goes on. I'm actually not in all of these channels. I don't think anybody is in every single Slack channel that we have at Live Chat. But yeah, there's a lot of channels for different hobbies and it's really cool to see live chat supporting our hobbies and supporting the fact that we might be working remotely, but we still want you guys to bond with each other. Let's get into the work work stuff. So we have different channels for projects, we have different channels for teams, and these are usually private. And then there's the big one, hashtag general, which has a whole load of information. If any event is going on in live chat, if a PI demo is coming up, a PI objectives meeting is coming up, you'll find it in hashtag general. 
We also have a channel called Hashtag Shoutouts where one can give a shout out to their colleague for the amazing work they did or for the amazing input that they had in your project. And this is something really cool because in Hashtag Shoutouts channel, the whole company can see the amazing projects you do or the amazing input you do have in those projects. And it's kind of like, you know, a pat on the back from your colleagues, from the company and from your boss that you are doing well, keep going, keep the motivation up. There's another channel I wanna to mention to you guys called Hashtag Zebra Upvotes. You're probably wondering, what is this channel? Well, if a live chatter has posted something on LinkedIn recently and you know, they want more attention on their post, they want more likes, they want more comments, they literally take the link, copy, paste it into Hashtag Zebra Upvotes and be like, Hey guys, could I please get your attention on my post? Can you please give a like or a comment? And yes, live chatters will do that. We really like to support each other in every way we can. I know I've been talking a lot about the different channels we have on Slack. However, the clearer channels are divided into the clearer virtual workspaces and the better quality of our work will be. I really wanted to share with you guys how we use Slack in live chat while working remotely and how we use Slack to keep our communication on point, not only work-related communication, as I mentioned, also personal communication on different channels. For those of you who are working remotely, I hope you guys can apply some of these Slack hacks from live chat into your own company or into your daily work. Now pause, because I have to give a big shout out to Miwash who came to our video team with this idea. So thank you so much for that. And of course, thank you Miwash for helping out with the script. Please go hit that thumbs up button. And of course, comment down below if and how remote work changed the way you use Slack. And of course, let me know which videos you would like to see in the future and what they would be about. So definitely let me know. And guys, if you haven't clicked that subscribe button, please go click that subscribe button. It would be amazing. So thank you guys once again for watching. This is Journey.